Hello. <laughs> I shouldn't start the recording like that. I finally uh, have a moment. So we could go back to reading our karma book if anybody cares. And I'm going to say nobody cares. But it's kind of like I purposely have set out to do this. So I'm going to at least do a few installments before I lose the book. <laughs> so I read the next little chunk. And the next little chunk in this book, oh, which, by the way, if uh, you're new here, and why would you be? <laughs> no, this isn't good. <laughs> I'm reading What is Karma by someone named Paul Bruton, who is dead. And uh, this was published after he died. And he sounds a little sketchy, but, you know whatever. So far, everything's been right. So, um, this is the second little chunk that I've read where it's talking about what karma means. And, uh, this one thing says the literal meaning of karma is doing, and the applied meaning is simply that a person's karma is his or her own doing. And then it goes on a little bit from there, but apparently maybe I know a little bit more about karma than I thought because the gist of this little section is that we are the sum total of all of our actions and all of our decisions. And I have said this to kids. Uh, I used to work in a behavioral program like last chance high school kind of situation. I have said this to kids and to the granddaughter before that we are the sum total of every decision that we've made. And that is true no matter what our circumstance, which, by the way, sometimes is a hard pill to swallow because you want to say, well, I was in this position and I certainly wouldn't have chosen to be or this happened to me and I wouldn't have chosen that. And that is true, but the concept of this is regardless of who placed you in what position, your decisions about what to do in these situations are a part of you and a part of what made you who you are. And you can't really get away from that because even in the most restrictive of environments, you have a choice about what you're going to do. Now, it may be a choice between two really bad things or maybe it's a choice of I'm going to do what's expected of me because not to do what's expected of me would be nuts in and of itself. Uh, that's true, but then you've made the decision to go with the flow and do the expected action in the situation. So that's pretty much it. Good Lord, it's only been two minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the next chunk of the book. Uh, so the first chunk was, uh, you know, that it's not an outlandish concept, the concept of karma, which whatever we send out in the world, we get back. And the second is that we're the sum total of every choice and decision that we made that we can't really pin it on something else. Kind of heavy, but it's pretty simple. You know, most life things are kind of like that. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> so I'm just going to end it. We'll read another chunk. I'm not going to say when because God knows when I'll get around to doing this again. Bye-bye. <laughs>